Was Tesla snubbed from S&P 500 inclusion, or is this simply a delay? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Just a few days ago, the S&P 500 announced that they're adding three new companies to the S&P 500, and those companies do not include Tesla. Articles like this one from The Motley Fool came out and declared this as an S&P 500 snub. However, I'm of the opinion that this is not an S&P 500 snub, but rather this is just simply a delay, and at some point in the future, it appears likely that Tesla will be added to the S&P 500. Let's talk about the details and why I believe this to be true. Before we dive into the rest of this video's content, I wanted to take just a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help me make this content and bring it to you. A special thank you goes out to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, John Money, and Inku Kang. Also, thank you to these other supporters listed at the bottom of the screen. So leading up to the S&P 500 inclusion announcement, most investors believed that Tesla would be included right away. As this Market Watch article title pointed out, it was a bit of a shocker when Tesla was not added, but instead Etsy, Catalent, and Teradyne were instead added to the index. And yes, this surprised me as well, but I believe it's simply a delay, because this is not what a snub looks like. The S&P recently put out an announcement saying, quote, S&P upgrades Tesla with stable outlook on growing profitability expansion plans. That article went on to say that they upgraded Tesla's credit rating to a B plus from a B minus and with a stable outlook. They also said, quote, Tesla's improving profitability and competitive position prompted the rating. While the stable outlook reflects ratings expectation that the electric car maker can maintain its financial performance and market position. They also gave a nod to the fact that Tesla recently posted their fourth consecutive quarterly profit on July 22nd and that their sales outperformed the wider automotive industry. So those running the S&P 500 clearly believe that Tesla has reached a very stable position. They don't see it as a volatile company. And they also talk about how they have reached profitability and are outperforming the automotive market in general. The S&P also recognized their recent $5 billion capital raise saying, quote, the car maker said it will use proceeds to strengthen its balance sheet and for general corporate purposes. So in my opinion, this looks nothing like a snub, but rather this is just a delay. But the question is, how long do we have to wait? Now, first of all, I believe it's important to note that Tesla has met their basic qualifications for being added to the S&P 500. Also, Tesla will be eligible for the S&P 500 as long as they maintain profitability and maintain these other qualifications. Tesla is a US company. They have a large enough market cap the public float of their outstanding shares meets the criteria. They have posted a profit for the four most recent quarters. And Tesla is a very active stock. Also, it's really important to note that it's not uncommon for the S&P 500 to make multiple changes in one month. They may announce some changes at the beginning of the month and also later on at the end of the month. Just because Tesla was not included in the earlier announcement this month does not mean that the S&P 500 will not make a future announcement for later on in the month. Here's a little bit of S&P 500 inclusion history. Just as an example, I pulled these two examples for May of 2020 and also December of 2019. As you can see there, on May 12th of 2020, they added two companies and 10 days later, they added another company on May 22nd. In December of 2019, they actually had three different dates where they added companies and they added three companies at the end of the month on the 23rd. So maybe those making the decision at the S&P 500 simply want Tesla to post one more profitable quarter, or maybe they would like to see an entire profitable 2020. 
Either way, trying to time the market and trying to guess when Tesla will be included to get some kind of financial gain, that's not really a good idea. Trying to time the market is a good way to lose money. For example, recently when Tesla posted their Q2 2020 profit, their gap profit of $104 million, the stock actually went slightly down the following day. Also from the article we talked about earlier, it was expected that Tesla will be added to the S&P 500 this month, and when the S&P 500 did not choose Tesla, the stock went down. If you were doing short-term trading and buying and selling stock based on what you believed Tesla stock would do after those two events, you most likely would have lost money. Instead of investing for the short term and trying to be a fortune teller, which is impossible, it makes a lot more sense to find a good company and invest for the long term. On top of all that, just because a company is added to the S&P 500, that does not necessarily mean there is a huge immediate gain or even a long term gain. For example, if you take a look at Domino's, a company that we talked about earlier, that was added to the S&P 500 on May 12th of 2020. On May 12th of 2020, the stock traded at $377.94 at closing. And as you can see there from the chart, it really didn't rise a lot for quite a long time. And if you look at that stock today, it's really only a few dollars higher than it was on May 12th. Another company that we talked about, Zebra Technologies Corporation, that was added December 23rd of 2019. As you can see there on December 23rd, their stock traded at $256.73 and it really didn't rise much after that. And then of course it dipped. And when you look at that stock today, it's really only a few dollars higher than when it was first admitted last year. One other example that happened a couple years ago, Twitter was added to the S&P 500 on June 7th of 2018. And as you can see there, the next day, the stock did rise to $41.21. But if you look at where the stock is today, it's slightly lower than it was the day after it was admitted to the S&P 500. Whether or not the S&P 500 ever adds Tesla to their index, that does not affect the fact that Tesla is a great company. The truth is, Tesla appears to be in the best financial shape they've ever been in, and their future looks really bright. Yes, being added to the S&P 500 is beneficial, but it's not crucial. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button and also consider sharing this out on social media so other people can find it as well. Thank you so much.